Hello guys, it's Limat here and welcome on today's quick tutorial. And today as uh, topic say we're gonna use uh, CPDLC but this one is it works for any airplane so we can start to do it. Uh, the first part was how to install the uh, software and here we're gonna use it. Uh, right now we are currently in uh, Dortmund I believe yeah so uh, first of all we can check if uh, pre-departure clearance works at the airport on the website that I showed you before or we can check that one on VATSPY and here when we click on let's say Dortmund we need to slide down to Dortmund Tower which is that one here get some details and we have pre-departure clearance and departure clear slash departure clearance data link Echo Delta Lima Whiskey that's the code that we're gonna use it so which means it works we can ask for the clearance via FMC so uh, let's start Echo Delta Lima Whiskey as we said Dortmund is good we are at stand number two looks like two is here yeah and um, I hope so yeah let's say it's two okay so uh, we are in the flight deck actually to use this you don't have to be in the flight deck but um, it's normally we would use this button here from the main menu data link and then we go inside let's pretend it's that one here I will make it slightly bigger if it's possible or maybe it's not can we adjust that one now we can just move it uh, I think we cannot extend it whatever uh, so let's continue we are on Boeing 737-800 so you need to make sure that all the details are correct so let's hit the A cars and here we have um, origin which is the airport that we start from echo delta lima whiskey yeah then we go destination so firstly we need to send the flight plan to the atc so they know where do we go if it's correct so i've sent the flight plan already before uh alternate we don't have to fill it up but we can do Let's put it to as a modeling in Poland flight number. This is our call sign, so we're gonna put Tango Victor Sierra uh, three zero one eight. Plan departure time. So for now we have nine thirty seven. I don't know actually if they check uh, the timing here if it's correct or not. If I would put let's say one o'clock UTC if they're gonna give me the clearance or not uh, but we can try to make the fake one let's say it's 9 37 but we want to have 8 30 which is an hour ago 8 30 departure expected time of arrival let's say we're gonna be at uh, 10 o'clock oops 10 0 0 and then that's our ACARS pre-flight so then we need to go to request so I'm gonna click now for on request and the first option on the left corner is PDC which means uh, pre-departure clearance so we click on this one so the first few boxes are filled up already so we have uh, Tango Victor Sierra 3018 departure from Dortmund stand uh, this one we need to put it here two eight is information that I'm gonna check uh, not that one mm. so we have information x-ray that's the trial I'm not gonna fly anywhere today x-ray and two or so we can double check that one then aircraft type we have boeing 738 is set here to atc uni so we wanna send it to echo delta lima whiskey it's set double checking everything 
everything looks good, yeah? So we have to send it. So it's sending. And now, I don't know how long it's gonna take, it depends from the ATC, usually in real life it takes 10 seconds. I don't know if it's automatically or they need to press something. But here is, um, doesn't take long as well. Uh, previously I didn't had to wait that long, so... It depends, he has to check everything as well. So, let's wait, it can take 10 seconds, 20 or maybe a minute. So, if we gonna get the positive message, then we'll need to accept the flight plan. If not, there will be some... They're gonna reject our uh, clearance or request. So, in here we have a message and this point on the left bottom corner of the screen, CDU, is illuminated and we could hear this sound as well. So, we go to messages in the FMC now. Now I can, oh yeah, I can click here. Uh, the receive messages is one, okay. So I thought it's gonna work like that. Let's clear it, pre-flight. So the messages are not working. So we go to index now. Uh, let's, uh, let's hit the menu button straight away. So we are in the menu, main menu. Go to ATC and then go to logs and here we have two messages yeah so first one was a request received being processed okay that's the old one i mean whenever we click on the message it's gonna say it's old already like we read it then we he we see here a new message so we're gonna click on that one yeah 9.40 so we didn't have to wait long so we have it's open now status we have tango victor sierra 3018 and we have to follow there's you can see there's page one slash four so we click on the next page uh, runway 24 domek 2 uniform so we have to put everything in the fmc now like in real life, you will need to check if it's correct departure, correct uh, runway, climb 5,000 feet. So of course you will put 5,000 feet here and uh, set the squawk as well, as it's written here in the message, squawk 1,000. So we're gonna put it as well. And to accept that one, you have approximately five minutes. Otherwise, the clearance will be cancelled. So if you will check everything set up everything don't forget to click accept and let's read the last page next frequency 11825 request startup on the same frequency so now we're gonna click accept and we'll call it's gonna mean it means uh, we'll comply like everything is understood we don't have any questions and we hit send if you have some questions let's say you don't have uh, departure route or I don't know, you don't understand any one item from this message here. Better ask on the private chat or ask them on the texts or just call them, you know, by voice. So here we accepted our clearance and the next one step is to ask for pushback and startup. That's simple. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Guys, hello again. So right now we are on the website which is called hopi.nl. So it's gonna be in the descriptions down below, so you can just click on it. Uh, we are on the Hopi ACARS page. So uh, firstly, we wanna register and get the login code because we need that code later on uh, in the application. And after registration. We will would like to download the software. So I think it was in the Hopi A cars, the fastest way to get there. And at the beginning here, if you need the A cars, just go here. And on the left side, you have download A cars. 
and you just click download so it's gonna download you install it whatever you want and later on you can make a shortcut on your desktop or however you want to open it later on and uh, let's continue to the app after the startup of the application you will have like three three of the uh, windows so which one we gonna need two of them you can close I think straight away I never used them I never had any issues here so you want just the first one here and we go to file setup and I think at the beginning because I don't remember everything here like local cost and the ACAR server was uh, filled up automatically uh, what you need to do is just put the logon code right in the middle window and then set up the enable network announce on FMC and clock shows UTC not seen but it's up to you you know it doesn't matter uh, and that's it you press OK log into your um, game and then in the window uh, you can move that window as well here as you can see I always keep it here in the left corner so it's not obstructing the view of the scene and here we go I was testing the pre-departure clearance before there's some new messages uh, clearance confirmed that's from the previous topic so we were good to go from Dortmund to Warsaw um, I think that's it uh, there is more options here let's say a cars you can do index pre-flight in-flight you can log into this uh, CPDLC in-flight uh, which means you can instead of talking to the ATC let's say the air traffic controller wants you to change frequency instead of telling you that he will just send you the message like switch or change frequency on I don't know Praha Raider 134925 and then you will just press Wilco and then you will continue so for the next sector if you will be passing to Praha then firstly you need to make the voice contact and CPDLC will move to Praha Raider or the CPDLC automatically um, so you don't have to log in again to Praha unless there is nobody there then it will just log off you from the CPDLC network um, so the testing in flight we're gonna do on the next video that I'm gonna show you here uh, I'm trying to find request root release I'm trying to find this uh, login to the network so was it in root no uh, I'm still lost sometimes here in this uh, logon status yeah in ATC option um, I think in real life we don't use it for weather deviations I got the received message I think just once just to start the descent or climb uh, but usually we just use it for ATC frequency changes uh, logon status here let's say we are in Warsaw after departure and we want to do uh, to log in so we will put Echo Papa whiskey whiskey log on to and then send and then you just need to wait for the confirmation if it's uh, locked on or not and then leaving Warsaw uh, FIR you will receive message switch to let's say Unicom or switch to next frequency and then you contact other guys make sure the flight number is set correctly here which means your call sign um, and then let's say all the messages that you get it's in the log page which is menu ATC and here on the left side log and 
if you get some messages they will become old ones and then as you can see accepted and old and then you can remove all the messages here just to make this window clear uh, for the pre departure clearance as we showed before it was you see there's pre-flight request and then you go in flight request let's say you would like to climb to I don't know flight level 340 I think it should be at root go root now um, take off performance I don't know if it's active now because um, I'm not even logged into the VATSIM, I'm not even logged into any of the CPDLC, so I think those options will be avail available after you are logged in completely. So we will be testing that in the next video in flight, because I remember there was some options to choose uh, whether you want to go to the left, the V8 or to the right. But I'm not sure if I'm now confusing the real life or this app because this app I checked that I don't know half a year ago so I might forget what kind of options were there. I'm sure there will be something like climb or descent but this one we're gonna find out on the next video. So guys enjoy flying and thank you for this nice application from the guy you can buy him a coffee here. Jeroen uh, Hoppen Browers. Jeroen Hoppen Browers. Yeah, quite difficult for me to pronounce. And you can send some at least one euro. Um, what else? I think that's it. Next extended testing in flight. We're gonna have a look on the next video. So, guys video sorry so guys subscribe and uh, see you on the next one